Hello, my friend. This is audio blog number five for Simply for Jesus, Thursday, August 10th, 2023. Finally, I pulled up to Lincoln, Nebraska after a three-hour drive from Des Moines. I was able to rent a car, leave early, and safely for the same price as a bus ticket. The area enamored me because of its college town feel plus all the amenities of a state capital. I soon fell in love with the place and it almost felt like home. After settling in, I turned to my wife who had become my co-pilot on this journey. I knew six months ago she thought I was crazy for mentioning the idea of this trip, but God was using her in a mighty way. I have undoubtedly been blessed with a spouse who loves the Lord and supports me when I do His will. God had a plan when I met her 30 years ago. Amazing how he will work if you let him in a relationship. Joe had scheduled me a time slot to work at People's Mission in Lincoln. Pulling up in my rental car, I saw the men standing around the facility. I made my way without a clear direction, but I knew the routine. Wash hands, apron, hairnet, and gloves. As I got prepared, other volunteers started to come in. Five guys made up our volunteer group. I got to share simply for Jesus with them, and some of the guys couldn't understand why I'd be doing it. One asked, how did I pick Lincoln, Nebraska? I just told them it was God's plan using MapQuest. We had the dream team for food service. Everyone did their job with a smile. We served two groups and got to eat lunch after the first one. The food was delicious. The conversation matched it. The group had this cool school feel where everybody had a role. We started serving the second group, including all the men that I'd seen outside the facility. The people's mission has been a vital part to the Lincoln community for over a hundred years. It was founded in 1907 by several local churches. They wanted to demonstrate Christ's love to people who were impoverished and homeless, providing emergency assistance of food, shelter, and clothing. Throughout the years, their primary purpose has remained the same, bring the good news of Jesus to the poor and homeless and demonstrate his love by meeting their basic human needs. Over the years, they've served over 500,000 people in this ministry. We finished our shift. We said our goodbyes. My next stop was returning the car rental and returning the hotel for laundry day. I would walk down the street to soap a small laundry mat and get the suds to soak in. I'll have to admit, I love the experience. It was very communal feel, and you kind of feel a little vulnerable. After completing laundry day, Joe had scheduled me to attend Alpha Omega, a Bible teaching campus ministry of Indian Hills Community Church. Their mission is to provide opportunities for students to grow spiritually through in-depth Bible studies and Christian fellowships. Seeing college students on fire for the Lord was a great experience, and it always gets me excited. I'd return to the hotel and catch up on some work. Waiting for the Amtrak train, I would catch it midnight to deliver me to Denver, Colorado. I'd reach out to several groups in Denver, but hadn't gotten a response. Soon I'd find out why my schedule was open, because God has a plan.